Hi friends, Mrs. H here again, still in the parking lot for Grant's music class. I just want to keep these videos a little shorter than the Charlotte's Web ones. I know some of those were a bit long. So we are going to continue the Magic School Bus Rides Again, Sink or Swim by, I forgot already, Judy Katchke. Chapter 3, In It to Finish. Wanda and Miss Frizzle ran out of the ocean toward the shore. Carlos and the others stood on the beach. They were all staring at Dorothy Ann's tablet. Carlos, did you see a shark? Wanda asked. Yeah, I saw it on the tablet, said Carlos. Check it out, Wanda, said Keisha, pointing to the tablet. They have so many cool animals on this island. Like sharks, Carlos said. I heard, said Wanda, who was still out of breath from running out of the ocean. Oh, what an awesome creature, Miss Frizzle exclaimed. I'd love to meet him. Can we go find the shark, Carlos asked excitedly. I'll go with you. Me too, Wanda said. I need to see what is out there with Becca. The others stared at Wanda. Becca who? Come on, everybody, Miss Frizzle called back. Let's find the shark the way the locals do. Do you mean the people that live here? Dorothy Ann asked as they boarded the bus. Not the people, Miss Frizzle said. You know, the locals, down in the ocean. Bus, do your stuff. The bus sh shifted shape into a submarine, then splash. Miss Frizzle sat at the controls as the bus dove into the ocean. She checked out the buttons on the control panel. There were tons of buttons, like a giraffe button, a dinosaur button, and a fish button. Miss Frizzle pressed the fish button. Goldfish crackers poured onto her head. Oops, wrong button, she called out. She tried a different one, and the students popped out of the bus, each in their own tiny submarines shaped like fish. Look at my fishmobile go, Carlos shouted, doing loops. How do you steer this thing, asked Arnold. As my big sister always says, Miss Frizzle called through the bus's microphone, take chances, make mistakes. And get messy, the kids added. Take chances? I guess that means permission to push buttons, Wanda said with a smile. She tried a button. Dorsal fin activated, an electronic voice reported. Suddenly, a dorsal fin sprouted from the top of her fishmobile. It helped steady her submarine. Excuse me. Guys, Wanda said into her microphone, Use the dorsal fin to keep from rolling over. My tummy, thanks you, Wanda, said Tim, steadying his fishmobile. Ralphie pushed a button. Tail fin activated, the electronic voice said. Ralphie's <clears throat> zoomed forward with the help of a new fin at the back of his fishmobile. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> hey, everybody, Ralphie said into his mic. The tail fin moves you forward fast. Maybe a little too fast, he said. Straight. He headed straight for Dorothy Ann. She quickly pushed a different button. Pectoral fins activated, the electronic voice reported as fins shot out of the front sides of Dorothy Ann's fishmobile. Use pectoral fins for steering, she told her classmates. Ms. Frizzle smiled. Wow, it looks like things are going swimmingly. Woohoo! Giotto cheered. I can swim like a fish. Or like a mermaid, Keisha piped in. This is amazing. I can move just like Becca. Wait up, Becca, Wanda called to the little fish in the distance. She was just about to power forward when Ralphie gulped. Um, guys, look! An enormous, scary, dark blob headed right toward them. What is that thing? Keisha asked. A giant squid? A killer whale, Carlos guessed. Whatever it is, Wanda said, it's coming straight for us. Ah! Everyone shouted as the strange blob moved closer and closer. Chapter 4. Something fishy. Everybody run! I mean, swim? Ralphie shouted as he spun his fishmobile around. The students pressed buttons as fast as they could to try to get out of the dark blob's path but one student in Miss Frizzle's class wasn't going anywhere. Listen up, huge, evil, scary thing, Wanda said. 
staring the creature down through her windshield. There's no way you're getting between me and Becca. The blob was closing in on Wanda. She shut her eyes and held her breath. When she opened her eyes, the dark blob had changed shape. Wanda was safe, and she was now inside a huge tunnel that went right through the middle of the blob. It turned out the big blob wasn't a giant squid or a killer whale. It wasn't even big. Wanda opened her eyes. No way! The blob was just a whole bunch of fish, yelled the others. Not a bunch of fish, Dorothy Ann said. A school. <clears throat> Miss Frizzle leaned toward her mic. That's right, D.A., and it looks like this school of fish has been practicing cool underwater moves. I can't believe you guys were all afraid of a bunch of dinky little fish, Ralphie laughed. Yeah, Ralphie, I forgot how brave you are. So, do you want to tackle that guy next? said Keisha. Everyone froze as a dark shadow swam up from the deep, dark bottom of the ocean. Ah! Ralphie screamed. Shark! they said together. Dorothy Ann called information out in gasps. Common name is Black Tip Reef Shark of the family Carchinidae? And the genus, as quickly as the shark had appeared, it disappeared into the reef. Phew! Carlos sighed. I guess he had other fish to fry. That was close, Ralphie said. Time for us to get out of here. Class, Miss Frizzle called out. She could tail fin. The kids steered toward the bus. All except for Wanda. She was busy thinking about Becca. Wait, guys. We can't leave Becca. What about the shark? Guys? Guys! Wanda called out to her classmates but they were already back inside the bus. Wanda sighed and headed for the bus too. All right, to be continued in the next part.